Hello everyone. There's been a lot of requests lately about how to work boilers. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of how to do so. So let's get our boiler first so you can actually see what a boiler is if you do not know. It's this whole thing. It's in tier 2. Let me turn on the volume. So as, as you can see, you have the boiler here. Now you have four inputs. I mean, you have two inputs and two outputs. This is an input. Water has to go in here. Doesn't matter how hot the water is, but it has to be water. In here, it says hot water in, but you can put like you can put crude oil. You can put anything in here to heat it up. It doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be hot water. Uh, out here comes whatever's put into here. So if it's water, water will come out here. If it's not water, whatever you put in here will come out. And then right here is steam. Steam will start being produced once the temperature of the boiler right here reaches above uh, 99. So 100 and above, you'll start getting steam. So I'm just going to show you the best way to harness the power of a boiler is a, tur is a large turbine, which I'll put right here. Also, if you're using if you're using this, you're better off using pipes, the uh, tier two pipes because they're just stronger. So you could, it's it's more efficient that way. So I'll just connect this all up real quickly. Now, personally, what I like doing is I like connecting, I like connecting uh, this bit. I like reusing the boiler output into the side, so I don't have to keep pumping. So if I actually get a pump right now, because you, because you, you need you need water here, and I'll I'll tell you why I put a pump here, even though I'm saying I'm not going to use a pump. I'll tell you why in a second. So once I connect this up, I'll I'll actually show you. I'll just show you. I won't I won't connect this yet. I will power it though, just so we can get ahead of that. There you go. All right, so let me grab, let me grab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to use a um, liquid boiler. It, uh, you don't have to, you can use geothermals, you could use pretty much anything you want. Go nuts. You can already hear that sound, that's from my boiler over there. That's the sound the turbine makes. I don't know if you can hear it because the volume may be low for you guys, but if you can, you can. Where's the, where's the output here? The output's on this side, okay. So I guess we'll grab the liquid boiler. We'll just connect that real quickly. So I'm just gonna use water because even though it says, even though the liquid boiler says that only crude oil can go in, water is actually allowed to go in at this point of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, a pump, uh, pump 2, because we need a fast pump. You can see here we have a we have pump 2. See we could connect this to there. Where's the power? The power on this thing is Somewhere, where's the power? That's the power, but oh, it's right there. Okay, so now we're gonna need where is it? Somewhere, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the solar panel here. It is because we just need something really quick to uh, power this. Start filling that up, and then we need somewhere for the water to go. I'm not going to reuse the water. I mean, you can if you want. You can do you can do whatever you want with the output over here. It's not it's not anything valuable because I mean it's just it's just water. So I'm just going to pump it out. I'm just going to jump uh dump it, dump it into the ground because it's just water. It shouldn't pollute. Where is this fluid pipe turn? Sometimes it's a bit annoying to click these. Okay, that should be everything hooked up. Okay, so I'm going to remove this real quick. Okay, so now there's not going to be any water in here. 
right. Oh, wait, I just realized I didn't actually have to remove that. Ugh, oh, silly me. Silly me, whatever. Because it wasn't, it wasn't connected yet, so it wouldn't really matter. We're just gonna fill it up, fill this bit up. It's not gonna go out because I don't have it connected yet. I don't have it connected. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna start powering this one, okay? You see, the water outputs, it's like, it's like a bit hot. Actually, it's not, it's not hot enough. We may, we, need, we may need something a, little, a bit more powerful, actually. Um, it's a really powerful, powerful thing. Gotta think. Uh, some kind of, some kind of heater. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll just do two geothermals. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter how you heat it, heat it up. You just gotta heat it up however you, however you want. Um... Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna do geothermals. We could just get one of these pumps back here. Okay. As you can see, now they're connecting it all up. Uh, I put I put it through two because we need to heat up enough. Because the geothermal by itself, unless you're using the water, does not heat up all the way. So this is not gonna. This needs more power. So to give it more power, I'm gonna give it. I'm just gonna give it a couple winter runs, you know. There we go. As you can see, water water's now coming out. And we have pretty hot water. Uh, water's going in. Is this? So water coming out. Yep, you can see we have hot water. But as you'll see, nothing. Oops. But as you'll see, nothing. Nothing is being produced. Maybe wondering. Oh wait, why? Why is nothing being produced? That's because we don't have water over here. We need water in here. So we're gonna quickly connect this. As you can see, we're gonna start creating steam. We can now remove this because there will be water coming out of here. To fuel it, and you can already hear it's heating up a lot because this water is getting really hot. Actually, we're gonna need we're gonna need somewhere for the uh, for it to go. So I'm just gonna grab a HV battery, plug it in real quick, and uh, you'll see the power start going up eventually. You can hear it really moving now. Hear it really moving. It's not. It's not. We're not, this isn't really hot water, it's decently hot, it's decently hot, it's not the, not the hottest, but it's, it, it works, gets the job done. In fact, actually, if we wanted, if we wanted to go even better, we could, we could loop this back around here. If we did that, it'd actually get really hot. But, um, we're fine, this works. Yeah, as you see, we're starting to make electricity. So, let me explain to you what exactly is going on here. I already did it uh, before, but I'll do it again. So, we have this pump right here. It's pumping out water into here. The geothermal, which uses heat from the ground. It's like a, basically a big drill that goes in the ground. Heats up the water, right? So, the water comes out here. You can't see much of it because it's, you know, it's slow. But it comes out here, and as you can see, there's some in here. It goes into this thing. This is another geothermal. As you can see, it's not quite 100 Right, it's not quite a hundred yet, so it goes into here, becomes uh, above a hundred. Then we pump it into here, pump it into here, and then it will come. And then uh, the water that goes in here, the hotter it is, the better, because the hotter uh, this pump, this temperature would be. But basically, if this if this has water in it, this has something really hot in it. Uh, there's an output here, so it doesn't get clogged up. Steam will come out of here. We'll go into the um, go into this thing, the turbine. Turbine will generate electricity, as we can see, it's already doing. 
Let's check it. Yep, you can see we have electricity. And then whatever, and then the output of the turbine will come in here and go back into here. That's, that's, that's the gist of it. That's the basics. There's not much... I don't know what else. There's, there's not much else to this. This this is just very simply put together. But that that's how boilers work, guys. That's how boilers work. Um, I hope you understand it. If you have any questions about what, what I did here, um, or whatever, really, you can feel free to ask them in the comments. But I think that's it for today's uh, tutorial. Hope you all learned something. Have a great day.